Pets, it's Grimlet from NatEvil.com, and let's show this guy a book. The book contained the recorded memories of the elders. Most of it was faded. Only the chapter on the construction of the convent chapel was still legible. That would certainly interest Frank. Well, let's give it to him. Give it to him, Frank! What's the matter now? My goodness! That does look very interesting. It should. Uh-huh. Let's see. Hmm. At least those are the same symbols as on the stone slabs. But the pattern is full of gaps. I'm a pro when it comes to riddles. That's why all I need is a single glance to be able to declare without a doubt that, yes, this is a riddle. Good Lord. But the solutions page seems to be missing. This book is useless to me like that. Unless, of course, you have the solution. So, oh, all right. <laughs> uh, let's read this real quick. Uh, as the mothership finally lifted off, it suddenly dawned on brought her, brought her, that should be B-R-O-T-H dash, uh, Bodo, that he should arrange the coat of arms of the four orders so that... The same symbol is not found in the same room, column, or even quadrant. So basically, this is Sudoku. As you can see, we have Slytherin, Gryffindor, uh, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. So let's go ahead and play some Sudoku. Uh, okay, this one should be easy. It's not this, this, or this. So this is the owl. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Which should make this one easy, because it's not this, this, or this, which means it's a lion. Which should make this one easy, which means it's the boar head. Okay. This is basically how you play Sudoku. <laughs> this is, I mean, this isn't Sudoku. Clearly, this is some kind of easier version of it. But... My god, this is... Alright. Now we're finally at a place where, like, oh, I have to use my brain now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have one of those, don't I? Um, <laughs> Okay. It is this one. And I say that because these are already taking up all of the columns, which should make this one the lion, this one the boar's head, and this one, the owl. There. All right. Here to after, okay, you don't really need to read these. All you need to do is match this and this up. Oh, look, that's the only place this could possibly go. See? And boar's head over owl. Look, there's only one boar's head over owl. And there. Yes! Yes! That has to be it! I have solved the mystery! Thanks for holding the book all this time. You're blocking the way. May I? Yay, credit. As soon as Frank stopped drilling, Lily was finally able to draw Garrett out of his shell. Lily crouched inside the confession booth and waited. All was quiet in the chapel, except for Frank, who could barely contain his excitement. Wow! If these bones aren't evidence of a church conspiracy, I'll eat Tom Hanks' double chin. And what's that? Hey, this just keeps going. Let me just drill through this stone slab and... But that's... a sword! A real Templar sword? It's incredible! Man, it sure is wedged in tightly. I hope that isn't a load-bearing strut beam. The impact echoed through the entire church. Lily was tempted to look, but then she heard approaching steps. <sighs> it's so blissfully quiet. I can finally take up my listening post again. Do 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 do
Hey, what's going on? Is that you, Lily? Do you think that's funny? Let me out, now! Lily felt uncomfortable about it. Locking someone into a confession booth was probably not appropriate for a well-behaved girl. On the other hand, she was doing Edna a big favor. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. So Garrett is out of the picture. Very good. But I'm still in danger. Before I can leave the convent, you have to help me cover my tracks. The doctor can't find out that I was ever here. Could you do that for me? Uh-huh. Great. Let's see. First, you have to get rid of the balloon that I left in the main hall. Hmm. It even has my portrait on it. The doctor would recognize me immediately. I also played with firecrackers down by the school clock. Let's just say it was part of a weather experiment. And I would have succeeded if I'd had a real DeLorean. You can't imagine how hard it is to get a lawnmower up to 80 miles per hour. <laughs> and of course, you have to remove the inscription on the swing tree. It hurts me just as much as you. But I could hardly leave the doctor better evidence that I was here than that. Do you think you can handle all that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. You're the best. So, all right. Um. Hmm, we have stuff. And? Have you destroyed all the evidence already? Um. No time to chat. Hmm. First, we have to destroy the evidence. And by we... I mean you. Have you gotten rid of my balloon yet? Uh-uh. Hmm. That really shouldn't be so difficult. I let it go in the main hall. If we're unlucky, it'll have floated all the way up to under the roof of the tower. But with all the junk hanging up there, I'd be very surprised. Support beams, spider webs, bad feelings, and especially the giant chandelier. It probably got caught up somewhere. You know, a uh, few people know that bad feelings float to the top. Oh, uh, uh, yourself. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so anxious. Until the inscription on the tree is gone, I'm sure Dr. Marcel will find me. But how can we possibly get rid of it? Now that you've driven off the termites, working the tree wood will be hard. I took a knife from the cafeteria once and even that barely left a scratch on the bark. I wonder what Doris uses to cut the pumpernickel in the mornings. She must have some other tools. Hint. Wow, that hint dropped so hard. I think it destroyed a tower. <sighs> what a great story. Save it. As long as my firecrackers is still hanging from the school clock, there's no time to lose. You have to get up there somehow. And I think we've already... Uh, not so loud. Dr. Marcel's ears are everywhere. Ew. If you listen closely, you can even hear the wind blowing in his ear hairs. That guy is no joke. But you know the rumors, so watch out for him. He is evil. Evil. Yeah, I'll never get uh, tired of that. Evil! Hey, what's-her-face is gone. Leaving what's-her-face. She looks shy. Um... Oh! Hello, Lily. I was just thinking of Riot Girl. Riot Girl is totally cool. Totally. Because Riot Girl wears Shibuya clothes. Don't you think that's totally fascinating? <sighs> Suka also thinks that Riot Girl is totally cool. And Suka likes Shibuya too. Shibuya is totally cool. Don't you think so too? Um, yeah, it certainly makes you think. I think way too much about things like that. My brain is getting all fuzzy. But Riot Girl is cool, right? Okay, we don't have anything to learn here. Yeah, I'm here a little bit early because I really, really think that this place could use some sprucing up and I just I just want to give Mother Superior this picture. There. It will never come up in conversation again. Hey, who's that down there? A clown? Okay, I don't know what people have against clowns, but I love clowns. Lily was delighted. She'd never seen a living clown up close before. Only the dead one that appeared at her window at night. I'm not sure what that means. 
You... No. Another one of them. Mm -hmm. Get lost. I'm not in the mood for jokes today. Aw. Come on. Be happy. <laughs> what? You don't like the mood I'm in? You want me to show you a few tricks now or what? I feel terrible. Because my therapy concept flopped. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. How oh, rotten. Can I have a cigarette? You? Why are you staring at my cigarettes like that? They're not for sensitive children like you. Got it. I may have killed a couple of people today. Um... You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, right? My name is Ernest. Funny Ernest. <laughs> and I applied as a child therapist here. But no, Mother Superior had already found someone else. That Dr. Marcel. A nuthouse shrink. Can you believe it? I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Even if I knew where they were. <sighs> That's what I get for retraining as a psychologist. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. I've been waiting for a gig for months. I should have stayed a plumber. Have you guys noticed that his eyes are actually, you know, crucifixes? Maybe it's just me. What were you as a plumber? Um. I used to be a plumber. Now I plumb people's souls. What's so hard to understand? Alright. Mm. Just don't ask me about Dr. Marcel. I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Even if I knew where they were. He's a bitter, evil man. He's known everywhere for hating children. Ever since a little girl shoved him down the stairs. Huh, serves him right. That old twit. That can't be a reference to another game. Um... What? No. Oh. You want to see a few tricks, don't you? I knew I shouldn't have said that. Okay. I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a cute balloon animal, and you leave me in peace, okay? Uh-huh. All right. What's it gonna be? Ooh. Wow, we got choices. Um, a poodle, a giraffe. I love giraffes. A pterodactyl, a wrench, the human DNA sequence, or a hypercube. I think we all know we want the DNA sequence. Yay! The human genome? Very funny. It hasn't even been decrypted yet. Okay, how about a hypercube? A hypercube? I don't do them anymore. They always make me dislocate my shoulder. The fact that he can, or did, is awesome. How about a pterodactyl? Huh. Okay, a pterodactyl then. Always the same thing. That's... Um. Ah, you think they look different to this? Then show me a photo. Oh, okay. How about a giraffe? Whoa! A giraffe, then. How original. But it's only one balloon a child. Oh. Did I actually, Did he actually make a giraffe? I... Okay, okay. I know that look. You want another balloon, right? Uh-huh. All right. What's it gonna be? Yeah, I've always wanted a pet wrench. Ew. A wrench? Why not? I know all about wrenches. It looks kind of like a hot dog with a little bit at the end. All right, a wrench. The wrench somehow reminded Lily of a poodle. I guess they all do. I think we all know what we need to do with this thing. All right, for any children that are watching, it's important to note you shouldn't be watching this. But that aside, do not try this at home. What Lily now did was actually void of all logic. And she could already hear uproar of the online reviewer. But she did it anyway. The online reviewers sounded a bit hoarse today. Maybe they shouldn't smoke so much. Huh. You know, cigarettes can be really bad for you. I wish I had some. Ah, the balloon. It's such a good likeness of Edna. Lily thought Edna's self-portrait was very well done. She would have given her right arm to draw like that. 
Unfortunately, she wasn't strong enough to get through the bone. I like how that implies she's tried. Done. Now only two pieces of evidence were left to completely erase Edna's tracks. Here we go. The clown had just left his cigarettes here. He must have been in a great hurry. There we go. That'll prove that we're cool to a certain someone. And, um... I wonder where the clown went. I guess it's not important. Hi. Lily, I really have to ask you something. Ooh. Do you like me? Uh -huh. Thank goodness. I wasn't really sure, because there's something on my mind. It's... it's about my feelings, and I'd like to ask you a really huge favor. Oh, yeah. Would you do something for me? Uh-huh. Really? Wow. I'm so excited. Okay. Calm down, Capu. So, would you... give this letter to Shai? Uh-huh. <sighs> I really have to meet her. So, could you just give her the letter? Man, that's so cool of you. You're really the best, Lily. Yep. Uh. Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. Uh, before I do that... No, we'll, we'll do this now. I mean, it, it is his love, and I know when when I was a kid and I had to deliver love letters to other kids that it was important to those kids, and my own love letters went unsent. Here you go, Shy. Oh, what fabulous thing do you have there? Is it for me by any chance? Lily hesitated. Certainly not because she begrudged Shy her meeting with Kapu. No. She was worried. Who knew what sort of things could be in the envelope? A snake, a scorpion, the anthrax virus. In the end, she decided to give Shy the letter, after all. Uh-huh. Wow! It's from Kapu! A date? Oh, how exciting! I have to put on more glitter. Apparently, the letter didn't contain the anthrax virus. Thank goodness. <sighs> no anthrax. Damn it. Hmm, okay, well, I think I saw a sword in the chapel. Let's go ahead and grab that. Hey, Mr. Gnome, glad to see you're painting everything pink there. That's important. You just keep up that work. Here we go. Lily was always happy when something was left over, but usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. In this particular case, it's an awesome sword. Just yoink that. Hey, you think the date's going well? I didn't see Shy and Kapu, like, get together or something in the... <sighs> oh, good. They, they look like they're doing well together. Lily didn't want to disturb the two. They deserved to enjoy the moment. Soon, they'd start to hate each other, and Shy would start losing her hair from all the grief. Ah, yes, love. And then we can collect that hair. Now, how to get those firecrackers? Hooray! Lily had found Edna's firecrackers. How did they ever get up there? Hmm. Hmm. The hands of the school clock looked like irises. Irises. I mean, they... You know what? I think this could work. The sword may not have reached the firecrackers or the rope, but it fit perfectly into the mesh of the clock hands. So perfectly that it got stuck in there. Oh. Now what was Lily to do? Wait until the gargoyle dropped down of its own accord? She didn't have that much time. You know, if I can find that clown, he used to be a plumber. He might be able to help us. Let's see if I can find him. What was... Was that something? Did the screen just shake? What the hell was that? The clock in the tower sounded duller than usual today. 
Was it really that late already? Hey, Mr. Gnome, have you seen Cheyenne Kapu? Hey, firecrackers! Done. Now, only one piece of evidence was left to completely erase Edna's tracks. Yeah, I'll have to take care of that. Apparently, Birgit had set down her work, but she had completed the banner with the Puma motif. Too bad that Lily couldn't congratulate her on the good job she'd done anymore. Huh. I don't know where that girl could be. The banner was magnificent. Birgit had done an incredible job. Lily would dream of the banner for many nights to come. Go ahead and grab that. You know, everybody seems to be disappearing. I wish I knew what was going on. Mother Superior will be happy with this banner, though. So that's, you know, something. Okay, all kidding aside, pink bodies, right? We have passed three of them. I want you to remember, there's a dead clown here, a dead lovers in the hallway, and a dead burget in the burget room. All right, now that you know that... Ah... That's what I call an outstanding motif. Effective and controlled. A symbol of complete self-control. Just like the directors of this convent. This will impress the doctor. Come along, Lily. Birgit has earned another award. Her diligence and reliability will be rewarded with a celebration. Oh boy, party. Lily almost jumped in the air with excitement. There hadn't been a celebration in the convent for a very long time. Mother Superior had already begun the ceremony when Lily entered the classroom. It was a lovely celebration. The only odd thing was that Birgit was nowhere to be seen. And I hereby award you a Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. Your embro... Broidering skills and excellent sense of duty are a superb example to your fellow students. You, Birgit, are a textbook example of how strict and systematic g -g 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 guidance can result in great achievements. Ah, Lily, follow the example of your fellow student and do some cleaning. If only all ch ch children were as conscientious as Birgit. The celebration was very short, but Lily enjoyed it anyway. This was probably the best day of her life. Eh, you know, a lot of people are coming to their ends and stuff. I mean, disappearing from things and stuff. So, okay, I ask you, who's insane here? Is Lily crazy or is Mother Superior crazy? <laughs> like. Can, can no one else see these gnomes? What's what's going on? Ah, oh, well. <laughs> hmm.